We've all been there, stuck outside because your keys are locked inside. I think I've locked my keys in my car. It's that desperate call to a locksmith. So here's a warning. Beware of who you dial for help. Joshua Peters wishes he had chosen someone else when he and his wife discovered they were locked outside their Northland home after going for a walk. My head's not all there sometimes. As can happen when you're caring for a newborn. So the Peters started searching for a locksmith on their phone. The first one that was right there, it, it said it, reasonable prices is like 19 to $150. They called. Within 15 minutes, they had a locksmith at their home. Peter says he made sure to ask how much the total price would be before the guy did any work. Peters agreed to the price of $208. And that's where this problem starts. He said, okay, before I go into the house, I need you to sign this document that says uh, that this is your house. He showed me his phone, which was just a white screen with a signature line. Warning number one. After getting the door open, Peters paid the locksmith by debit card and asked for a receipt. I said, can I get a receipt? And he said, oh, you'll get one in a few minutes. And then he left. Warning number two. Ten minutes later, Peters gets a receipt, not for $208, but for $340, charging him $19.99 for the service call, $189.99 for the house lockout, another $74 labor, and $56.80 as a processing fee? You know, I was like, no, that's not going to happen. He called the locksmith company. He said the person on the phone denied ever even having sent someone to his home. They answered the phone, locksmith. And I said, what company is this? Because I was trying to find out what the website was and all the details. Uh, and she just said, locksmith. And I said, okay, what company though? And she said, locksmith. Well, long story short, Peters tracked down the company via his bank debit card statement and filed a complaint with the Missouri Attorney General, accusing the locksmith of fraud. The locksmith company responded, accusing Peters of lying and smearing its good name. Of course, remember the only name they'd give Peters was locksmith. But according to the documents from the AG's office, the company goes by the names Rocket Locksmith and 24-7 Emergency Locksmith. But here's the gut punch. The attorney general said it couldn't help Peters get his money back because he had signed a document agreeing to the price. Well, remember, the only thing Peters says he signed was that blank screen supposedly giving the locksmith permission to enter his house. And they said, well, if you signed it, we can't do anything. And I said, well, that's not really fair. <laughs> I didn't agree to that. That's the fraud part that I was going after. Peters, a Purple Heart veteran who served in Iraq, is not used to giving up a fight. So he filed a complaint with his bank. Peters lost the dispute because, again, the locksmith produced that signed document. That's when Peters called Fox 4 Problem Solvers, wanting to warn others. He's not the only one complaining. The locksmith service Peters used is a dispatch service that sends locksmiths all over the United States. And if you search online, there are lots of nearly identical complaints. Mark Stewart of Overland Lock and Key knows all about 24-7 emergency locksmith. Really low service call price, won't give you a fixed price, won't give you a reasonable sounding range. Stewart said the first warning flag is that service charge, which is as low as 1995. No legitimate locksmith that I know of. I mean, there may be some are not going to come out for that. Most locksmiths charge around $60. And often that includes the service, particularly, say, for a car lockout. He said a house lockout should have cost no more than $100 total. Remember, Peters paid more than $300. It's ridiculous. And the problem with that is most people only lock themselves out maybe once or twice in their life, so they don't know what a reasonable price would be. Plus, Stewart said he never asked customers to sign something before entering their home or their car. Oh, man, and what's the reason why we are... And here's another thing. Remember how the locksmith company wouldn't tell Peters its name? Well, here's what we found. If you Google the name of Stewart's business, Overland Lock and Key, look what pops up. The 24-7 locksmith site with the name of Overland Lock and Key embedded in it. So we called the green Call Now button, which links to 24-7 locksmith, not Overland Lock and Key. Hi, I'm calling for Overland Lock and Key. How can I help you? Oh, so this is Overland Lock and Key Locksmith? Yes, ma'am. Really? Because we're standing with somebody um, that's with that company. So who are you? And they hung up. So how do you protect yourself? 
there's only one sure way find a company that you can trust and then verify the phone number and put it in your phone. So if you get locked out, you don't have to Google for help. Linda Weger, Fox 4 Problem Solvers.